I'm testing the true power of capitalism in Solaris again. The last attempt went, um, not too well. I blame the spawns. In this video, we won't be able to produce any physical resources in the game. Instead, we'll be relying purely on trade. But this time, it's a little bit different. I'm armed with knowledge from the comments from the previous video, as well as playing on the new Solaris Beta 3.6, which adds some new mechanics, which we can use to boost our trade. Will we be able to survive against the hardest AI possible, barring a advanced starts, then make our empire thrive and hopefully defeat the two times crisis that can spawn any time after year 50. The first thing we need to do, destroy any buildings that produce any physical resources, including generator districts. And we'll be taking unity and tech, of course, <laughs> we have no use for energy credits. So I'm playing on the new cartwheel galaxy generation, which will be very cool to explore. But we're going to need to be careful because next month uh, we're going to lose a lot of resources. Let's see the damage. Oh, the consumer goods. Oh, and I forgot to get rid of Hydro Base. Get them out. So it is a capitalist run, but since we've got unemployed pops, we can employ social welfare to get unity from our unemployed pops. So at least they're being useful. Just until we can actually get some traditions to employ them or even just any minerals. So first we're going to go down mercantile, but we're definitely going to be going down cybernetics. You'll have to see why exactly later on in the video. Mercantile is just the best for any trade build that you want to play. So commercial zones are cheaper by 100 minerals. So we're going to build those first in preparation for commercial enterprises where we get merchant jobs. But our consumer goods are quite painful. So first we're going to go adaptive economic policies so that we can start producing consumer goods for every trade value. We'll get 0.5 energy and 0.25 consumer goods instead of just one energy. Something I neglected last game was diplomacy. Barely talk to any of my neighbors. We need to find as many customers as possible. So we're going to get some science ships bumping out. So now we don't have to buy as many consumer goods. Our economy is semi-stabilizing. We're going to remove a Peter here with a new Sparga Genius leader and put a Peter on science ship. We don't need a survey behind us because there's nothing attached. We need to find people or at least the choke points. And now we can go trickle up economics. It's just gives us a few more click jobs. Oh We're boy, slowly I curing uh, our unemployment. But even so, it gives us unity. And our consumer goods are really healthy now. We can stop buying as many and buy as many minerals as we can. Greet the Xenos with open arms. Yes, we need customers. We can finally get commercial enterprise, which per every commercial zone or tree district, we get a merchant job. Now, as we'll see here, we got two new merchants. They give a 15 trade value and free amenities per job compared to clerks, which gives six. So over double on trade value and a bit more amenities. So now we will just start spamming tree districts and switch these over to trade stations, which give us 20% more trade value and more trade district build speed and just start pumping out trade districts. We like trade and we're actually going to sell the consumer goods that we have access now to fund our economy. And we got an archaeological site that's going to be huge if we ever get the alloys for it. We can start monthly buying alloys as soon as possible. The max is 13 that we can buy, so we want to get that as quickly as possible. Off-world trading companies. Producers, I never build these, but they produce trade value. So let's go at trade value plus 10%. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we can still build a research and unity. Those aren't physical resources. So we can still make our capital a nice research, research. ring. So I recently learned the max sell and max buy is different, which I always thought they were the same at 26. But I think consumer goods, if you look, they'll stay at 1.4 every month. They're just staying at 1.4. I believe the max consumer goods sell is 72 with minerals and food being 146 and alloys 36. So we're going to pump out a lot more in this game than last time. And Mercantile is finished already. And the first trait we're going to go is Voidborn. We get two additional building slots, which means we can get more commercial zones, which means we get more merchants, which means money. Oop, two more. Let's start building commercial zones. Wow, there's a bunch of planets this way. I'm looking for a planet that we can single off so we can make them a vassal and then a federation member, which means we can get the OP federation, which combines consumer benefits and marketplace of ideas. So what isn't banned is building mining stations and research stations. We're just prospecting the surrounding area like a good capitalist would do. We just won't produce things at home. What I'm also going to do is move these specialists that were working the colonist jobs to our capital that have researcher jobs available. Is tech. Tech is good. It's a good resource. Oh, we found someone. I hope they are friendly. If you are enjoying this video, consider subscribing. Can we reach 30k subscribers before 2023? It would mean the world to me. Thank you to those who are subscribed. 
subscribed. But I think we need to go powered exoskeletons and then cybernetics to get and then enhanced cybernetics or something to get that tradition. So that's what we'll uh, be looking for. Yeah, we need the flesh is weak ascension perk, which we need integrated cybernetics for. So we're on the lookout for that. But now we're going to go diplomacy so we can form a federation soon, which we're going to need a colony ship for. So we may as well start building it now. And I think we're just going to bite the bullet and settle them here as we need it sooner Potential rather than later. Oh, we found some primitives. If we invade them and then make the primitives a vassal, it, it, does that work? We can try it. But look at that trick. 383 from this one system is beautiful. Okay, there's robotics. I'm not sure if that helps with it, but we'll just go for it. Okay, they're Research right on our border. Actualized. That's a bit annoying. Hopefully we can get this archaeological site. Yeah, we now have actualized. this system. We're going to invade and hope this plan works. And we now have the ability to form federation. Yeah, we have the planet. There's a bunch of random workers here. We will create into a sector, create into a vassal, give it a random name. Then we release them. We'll establish an embassy. We'll improve relations and form federation. <laughs> it works. Trade League. We'll call it the Stonk League. So they'll accept, hopefully. And it's actually quite important we try and block them in. We don't want our vassal getting massive and taking all these planets. And we found... These don't be enough for Megacorp. <gasps> well, you will have to die. The Unitary Trade League. They're a custom empire too. I've made these before. Very annoying. But our Federation member means that we're going to start getting some bonuses to our trade. So for we start with Trade League, which gives us 0.5 energy, 0.2 unity, and 0.2 consumer goods from each trade value. So we're suffering a bit with consumer goods now, but it doesn't matter. We get unity. We'll allow on a migration treaty. We might be able to actually take some planets, which would be huge. And we just got a bunch of minor artifacts, which means money is not a problem. But what is, is alloys. That's fine. So what we can try and do now is use the art of the deal. They probably don't have many resources, but when they do, yeah, they only have 135 alloys. When they start to build up in resources, we can actually start to trade with them to hopefully get a better deal than what's on the market as one alloys with 4.8 energy, which is insane. We're buying as much as we can without the price going up, but we need more if we want to get more habitats and keep scaling. That was the issue with the last game. We just stayed at free habitats. What we can do is actually get this planet, which is going to be huge because of our migration treaty. Now, we are going to be peaceful with the peaceful traders. <laughs> For now, anyway, we just will eventually need to take them because they're going to take a lot of the corporate offices, but that's fine. We can form a commercial pact with them, hopefully buffs up our energy, hopefully, yeah, and consumer goods and unity, and we can see what planet they're actually on. So they are a relic world capital, and then tundra. Yeah, they are tundra preference. So if we have any tundra worlds, we have an alpine and arid. So they actually can settle on those. We're going to go with a migration treaty then. And what we're actually going to do is finish off diplomacy. We're going to need an ascension perk to get flesh is weak. So we may as well just finish off diplomacy. We'll be using it a lot anyway. And a research agreement. I think this is worth it because they have a grand admiral. They're going to have a lot more research than us. So we're just going to get more tax. Okay. I'm stupid. We don't. <laughs> I've misread arid for some reason. And that other one's ocean. So let's cancel the migration treaty with one of these. And we're going to cancel it with Dorblon because they're used compared to the unitaries. We still need a bunch of influence. Okay, so we can actually fleece them for five monthly alloys. All we have to give them is two favors. They won't take any resources. And we may as well trade a communications and active sensor link on their side. And we can put this up to 19 years. So we're just going to get free monthly alloys because they're investing in us. That's what the favors are. We are on the scrounge. I'd love to get this 1,500 alloy mark, but it's going to be painful. Here it is, integrated cybernetics, and we've almost finished our, fit, our next tradition. It's all coming together. So what we've done now is we've got our max merchants and executives. We'll just get a bit of unity from them and trade value. We've closed off all our clerks and enforcers on both habitats. So when we get a pop, we can just move them over to our main Excuse. planet, which we're going to fill with research labs, hey. as unity is not an issue now. Oh, and this science ship is trapped by a 1Ks. So we'll send it back to assist research on HQ. Diplomacy is finished. We are going to hold our ascension perk for when this tech's done. Integrated cybernetic. Oh wow, they found a ruin ring. These are going to be a big target. But we're friends for the moment. Best friends. Oh, we can actually take even more alloys from them. Oh, this is beautiful. Favors are slightly broken in this game. 12 years, we can take monthly alloys again from them. Look at it. 27 a month, 27 from trades. <laughs> Habitability, plus 5% integrated cybernetics. Perfect. And we can start to exploit rare crystals, which is beautiful. We actually got a rare resource deposit, unlike last game. Last game was not good. And we can grab flesh is weak. Gain access to cybernetics tradition tree and a research. And look at that. 
that, we can go down a tradition tree, Cybernetics. This is a new ascension path, and we're going to be embracing this technology Situation. together. When we unlock it, we get the special tradition, which is Flesh's Week, which we're obviously going to go straight away. Once we finish it, we get more resources from Cyber Pops, which just means more trade. But the key is we can mix cybernetic traits with bio traits, Research. allowing us to get some juicy new traits that have been added. Oh, and buff our pop growth speed with robot assembly plants. We're just going to need a lot of alloys. That's the biggest issue with this game. But hopefully we can become powerful enough to get vassals and just take all of their uh, alloys. Oh, and there's an empire over here. Let's start researching that. Our federation is now maxed out, so it's just going to tick along. We'll get passively XP and then more trade value, trade protection, etc. Just trade, 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 trade. So to actually do this first trade, we need to finish Flesh's Week. So we're just going to hold our unity for 10 months and wait for that to finish. Quantum Neuralink's specialist pop output 5%. Um, yeah, we'll take that. That's just buffs to our scientists. If you're wondering what the build was, it's the same as the last game, but essentially we're just more trade value, more branch office value, and brand loyalty. Now we blocked our federation member in, we can use some of the influence to set up a branch office in them. Just, you know, 20 energy free. Oh, another person. Yeah, let's find everyone. And our first colony is set up. The only downside about this is we don't have trade districts, but it's fine. We will grab commercial zones. Everything will be trade. A cybernetic revolution the dawn of a new era and that means we can grab transubstantiation synthesis that is not how you say it but it's fine gain access to assimilation citizen species right which means that we can turn anyone into cyborg orgs. and we have another tradition saved up we're gonna rush down here so we can modify our species i'm not gonna do it yet because we may as well wait for minus 50 percent cost let's look at our species tab we have trans moons they have cybernetic which gives them more habitability and leader lifespan but that's not gonna be interesting thing we need gene tailoring first that's annoying we've rushed down so much we'll, we'll have to wait for gene tailoring to actually modify them and at the first building can be built here we're going to go for commercial forums and more trade value for now no they've run out of alloys how dare they i'm gonna say we we're not allowed to build resources from planets it's a bit wishy-washy the rules the only resources we can get are gonna be from space we will not kill the planets so we need to hunt for gene tailoring tech which is a bit annoying why do we need gene tailoring if they're robots or cyborgs, you know? Hey, give us our alloys back. They took our favors and just canceled it. The trade is uh, a bit wacky. Here you go. We can take seven for two favors. We can actually colonize these, so we may as well. Okay, well, since we don't have um, gene tailoring, we may as well go down here. Cyborg upkeep less. And remember to build starports where your planets are. Otherwise, you won't collect the trade. So it's just completely useless. And destroyers, we will eventually need those. The creator order. That's actually huge. We can buy research speed. This is going much better we've not met any genocidal empires and there we go we're now collecting that trade value our economy is doing so well and we may as well go full on trade here with trade hubs and off-world trading companies or trade value i'm gonna say we can't use hydro bays either just mine the minerals from uh, space we've unlocked a new tradition assembly standards which means we can actually produce cybernetic pops using robot assembly plants so that's what we're going to start building everywhere more pop growth speed is great is it worth getting rid of a merchant Mm, I don't think so, but we can actually build them here on uh, on our planets. Guys. Building slot plus one. Perfect. I'm glad uh, gene tailoring didn't show up because <laughs> that would be hard to choose. Now, the moment has almost come. We've almost saved up enough alloys to build another habitat. We can now do it. Yes. Yes, yes, yeah. We're going to build it over something that doesn't have any resources because can't use the resources anyway. We got custom AI assistant along with cyborg. And cyborgs are so strong because you also get extra benefits to your leaders. So just rushing it this early is huge. And we finished off cybernetics, which means we get a bunch of resources from jobs and more species trait picks, which is great when we get gene modification. Next, I guess we go universal transaction. There's nothing else that's actually that good. We could maybe go mercenaries. Mercenaries could be great for our fleet power but at the minute we just can't use them so we'll just go universal transactions hope to actually meet more people are oh, the std infected systems they're a hive this is one of the patreon's empires so if you wanted to make empires and submit them so they're in my games or become part of the fleet like the yeet fleet we have lots of captain rexes <laughs> but we have captain rexes Stellaris is a meme arcadia's bastion the band Nantanic, they all have a chance to show up as they get added to a name list. And we got those building slots, which means we can get more research. And here's the assembly in process. It's essentially using our pop assembly, like the clone vats, but for robots. Pretty cool. We're not going to build them here. We want to max out our trade. And remember to set 
your designation, so you can just get 20% by switching to an urban world on trade. Genetic healthcare, I believe we need this to get genetic resequencing. Should have gone that earlier, but oh well, what can you do? I think it might be time to go advance habitats. I'm not sure. They cause alloys to upgrade though. No, we'll keep upgrading our ships. It's, there will be war soon. I, I will probably get bullied by an AI that's just been building up. No genetic resequencing. Our federation's leveled up. We now get 5% more trade value. We get more ship speed in our federation space and we get one more envoy, which we should probably communicate. I need to remember to use diplomacy. I don't know why I don't use it that much in this game. There we go, the chosen empire of a patreon has been found and i would love to get a commercial pact with them and a fallen empire a fanatic xenophobe oh dear next i think we actually go for prosperity we can get an extra building slot and it just buffs up our resources and our colonies are now here so it's time to turn them into that's right trade worlds oh, i just want genetic resequence and damn it wow these absolutely hate us oh an encounter good oh influence 80 well, i think we're taking that so we can't just sit here and do absolutely nothing after year 50 the crisis can spawn so we do need to build up and try and actually be strong and perfect civic slot still no genetic resequencing but civic slot is very nice and we finished off the heart of the pulsar and it was the science ship abamonti's flying circus <laughs> Where are all the empires? What is Station. this? Oh, we've got pirates. That's what's going to happen when Ships we got so much trade. Good. Let's go deal with them. We do have a 1k fleet. I'm trying to build it up slowly so we get a bit more influence. Association status. Mm, this steady. I kind of just want to vassalize their hives. No, we're not going to offer association. Okay, first battle. Can the Yeet fleet take down this pirate fleet? Yes, they can. We lost one. I'm not sure who it was. We lost one. What we're going to do to stop that is build up a start port here. Give us some trade protection because there's a lot of trade just flowing and that next habitat's almost done that colony ship we built right at the start of the game <laughs> worth it almost done look at it you still want to do a research agreement yeah we'll go for that and we'll break it off with the unitary trade league i think only having one is probably the way to go we don't want to waste so much influence on it and we got odd factory we're not allowed to work it because that will be resources roboticist is just producing pops which is not a resource we've now got our extra civic and we still don't have genetic resequencing or genetic tailoring even and we can actually go off social wealth welfare and now go to academic privileges i should have done that ages ago we can reform our government into franchising so that we can start to get more subjects eventually when we find people <laughs> we also get less empire size from branch offices and the habitat's done finally another one for the collection i think the alloys now are going to be spent on an oh, army no a fleet with so many energy credits right let's stop buying monthly we're going to save to buy just a lot a lot of alloys like uh 2500 a lot it's time to make our own ships this is the beta so ships are very different though i don't really know what i'm doing to be honest <laughs> when do i ever though what i'm gonna do is not just use destroyers i think mixing a fleet's very very strong now um from my testing i think just going full missiles on your frigates are pretty good the only issue is power that's not great and then our corvette you know we could put pickets on them <laughs> i mean our destroyers are gonna do the massive damage so is our frigate our corvette's just there to like tank and evade so putting a point defense could be good i don't know which one's better we'll just go with a flat and we'll roll with that and we'll run with this see how much we can actually produce oh we don't have moat what's using moats the torpedo that's annoying there we go look at a build and we get that building slot now on every habitat it's just more commercials or tech. I just want to be able to Research modify my based. clones, but so dapper apple, I swear. Why oh, can't you get the tech? Best. We met the artisan troop. That's nice. We can actually grab more unity amenities. Yeah, we get monthly unity, which is always nice. Oh, look at this. It's a fresh habitat ready to be commercialized. I don't know why there's no stability, but it's fine. We'll fix that. Oh, now we can actually upgrade our commercial zones too. I don't think we're ever going to have the rare resource production for that. So we're not going to do that yet. Let's see if the Steedies want to trade any alloys. Ooh, 12, 11 alloys or three favors, 10 years. That'll do. We're in negative. How are we not? Oh. Yeah, this is annoying. I want to show you the cool templates we can make. We'll just distribute luxury goods here. Why? Oh, it's growing the wrong species. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. Let's selectively grow the correct species. You idiots. I just don't get it. Please just give me the tech I want. It's still overwhelming and we have a fleet bigger than what we can support. <laughs> Another hive. Can we just find someone we can actually, you know, put branch officers in? This is very annoying. Peaceful trader that's not a megacorp. Oh, oh yes. We're finding people. Yeah. 
Yes. Inari Council. Yes. Good, good, good. Look at them all. Hello. Oh, no, they're a hive. Oh, they're killing the Inari Council. That's not good. Form commercial pact. We need positive relations. There we go. Commercial pact. They're dying. No, they're actually just gonna... They're gonna die to a trader. Let's see if we can still just get these branch officers up and running. Oh, there's a devourer. <laughs> Yeah, we're finding everyone. Yes, Gene Tailoring. Finally. Oh my gosh. Eh, eh, selling 69 consumer goods. Nice. We're 600 a month energy credits. It's um going all right. Let's buy more alloys, more ships. I do want to just start pairing into these. Like there's no one near us. I don't have the influence to expand. I don't want to expand. Back to council. That's great. Let's see who likes us the best. I mean, the Unity Trade League likes us the best. That's quite funny. Let's see this Federation builder. Do you have alloys? Would you like to trade they would eight or two favors they were just gonna go around trading <laughs> it's the way they have 80 monthly alloys what oh, we could be in for a treat here if they let us oh, oh no way 35 per month or 23 years at 10 favors that's insane can we do better no five is the minimum six gets us 14 years of 35 monthly so that's what we're gonna do let's see who else this robot they're not useless hopefully the hundred a hundred and one monthly they're getting they'll give us maximum 39 oh my yes take them and prosperity's finished i don't know what to go now more diplomatic weight could be good we could go down the route of uh mercenary enclaves that could be worth it you know we can only get one though but it should help us be able to kill these let's get a mercenary enclave we need to get this to 50 in modification points yes hyper relays we don't have the alloys we don't have exotic gases either we can trade for those though so now we have the fable tech we have access to cybernetic traits. And what's that? Trading algorithms. Plus 25% trade from jobs. Increase our energy upkeep. We don't care. We can also add power intensive and remove decadent if we wanted, but we don't need to. Once we get a few more trait points from techs, uh, we can be laughing. We can get more tech. We can double our research because it stacks with intelligent. But yeah, we're going trading algorithms. 25% more. Let's apply that. Takes five months. Back to communities here. So there's actually just no one here what no oh there they are banana corp you ah the closest to us is a corporation of course okay we can get a commercial pack with these they are big let's they don't have many huge planets we need a bit of energy till we can start forming there so our species has been modified let's see how much we go up because now we're gonna get just so much more trade nice lots of trade we can do the same here they already had thrifty so we'll just add on trading algorithms great template and let's apply that template to all let's establish this branch office buff it up i was like we're actually fourth in the galaxy that's not bad let's form the galactic market 100 percent they're still overwhelming to us yikes unitary trade league can use hostile takeover uh oh yeah. let's see hmm. maybe we get the astedian so that we can actually take out unitary trade League. It's just a bit annoying. There's no one around me to actually Research vassalize. Out. Next up, I guess we will go supremacy. Influence is so annoying. I mean, we don't need a migration pack anymore. Okay, we can weasel some more alloys for a couple of favors and a few more and a few more and a few more up from 78 to 137 just you know purely on monthly trades the only issue with doing a mercenary is to upgrade them we need alloys too they're only superior to us now but we can't claim much of them if i did an ideology war would that stop them being a um megacorp because last time i did it it didn't stop them doing that i don't want to risk it oh i can start trading consumer goods for alloys let's do that then take their monthly alloys too this is diplomacy i wonder do robot modification points count for species who knows all i know is I'm absolutely loaded right now. Galactic market being formed. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not going to make a full influence yet. Shit. I'm going to see if we can get to peer oh, into them. If I not, I'm going to just stockpile influence to take a bit of them. We are going down supremacy. So hopefully we can do something. It did give us points. We've got now two points and gene modifications aren't done. You look here, two more market. points. That's really nice. Just in case we will fortify the border a bit rather than doing trade here more trade value yes 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 give us trade look at that time to take a bit of exotic gases from our neighbors maybe even moats actually too okay now we've got both of those techs we have three trade points we can use perfect let's put on logic engines for more research and we can remove unruly which means we'll uh, lower our empire size which just means more tech look at that species oh that's beautiful wait they refused our trade deal wait, what it said it would happen oh i didn't have enough consumer goods now i got loads cruisers nice what a 4k pirate fleet well 
Good thing we have building up. Yeah, they're equivalent to us in everything now. I think we just go and take a few of their planets to make them weaker. Cruisers are done. We'll just go full medium. I, I don't know what's good, to be honest. There's swarm of missiles, which are 100% shield penetration and medium weapons now. But they don't do that much better damage. So yeah, the crisis can spawn in uh, 14 years. We need to get a move on with getting some vassals. So let's make as many claims on planets as we can. Only two, but they'll only have one left. And since they're mega corp, we kind of do want to just kill them and then make them our own vassal and hope that they're not mega corp. They will be mega corp, won't they? Nothing around Research us can be a proper vassal. It's fine. Oh, we can actually claim all of his uh, planets. We can wipe them out. You know what? We'll declare these rivalry. They're not going to be our friend. We get free influence. You, on the other hand, commercial pack. We just need influence. Okay, it's time for war. Oh, I hate, I hate them. Please vote yes. But why? Why do they do this? I guess we harm relations with them. Being Insult. Complete. Right, look, they don't like us anymore. What alliance did we have with them? I'm so confused. Well, I guess we'll just go clean up these aliens then. Oh, the Dastly Dwarfs are here. And that's someone I'd like to make subsidiary. Being that's complete. actually huge. Well, I know where we're going. Time to make a vassal. They better accept this. Please. Because yes. This is huge. This is also a patron empire. I'm sorry. But you're going to be our vassal now. I think I'm going to grab Defender of the Galaxy. Crisis is coming up 10 years-ish. Opinions plus 20 is huge as well. Maybe we can get free vassals from okay. diplomacy. And we can use, also use some influence and alloys to make another habitat. This build is so much better than the last time we played. Oh yeah, we can also improve these. I guess we'll go for more resources from jobs because I don't think they're working any research jobs. No, like one is. So just a flat 5% of resources will be good for trade. We're going to have less leader experience gain and stuff and remove the amenities from jobs so that it's just more efficient and we can actually upgrade all our habitats now too Research so analyzed. we're gonna start getting the tech for that oh i should have been nominating myself too i just need so much influence it's ridiculous next i guess subterfuge is probably the best politics yeah we don't really care too much about and subterfuge gives us more evasion more tracking and more envoys we're actually using those quite a bit right, we're gonna nominate ourselves once oh we got it as well less market fee that's huge buzzword standard is about to pass, which is huge. More trade value Research. again. We're just going mega trade right now. I mean, that's the whole point of the video. <laughs> but we'll just keep going more. More resources Research. from jobs too. I guess we can start ascending planets too. Let's do that. Level three ascendants. I guess we start ascending uh, trade stations. This massive amount of trade. Oh, we finally found their fleet. 1.7k. Uh, we have more than enough. Yeah, they're just going to get annihilated. We lost one frigate. So, rush down their planets so that we can get our vassal. Then we get a free commercial pack with them. We can buff them up, take their resources even more. And um, yeah, it's pretty insane. Our trade deals are starting to actually run out now. Actually, they all have run out, but it's fine. Oh, we're stuck. Don't worry, I did bring a science ship. Dust clouds are very fun. While we wait for that to get there, I'm going to just see if we can do any trades. 31, 32. We'll get more tracking. 47. No, our governor died. Ship build costs... Minus 10% will take you. Yeah, okay, our science ship's finally here. We can <laughs> go and take their planets. Oh, wait, nice. We got another habitat up. We'll just send uh, another colony ship there. And it's planet taking time. Oh, we found their fleet. I would like to see what's in this wormhole first, though. So. This wormhole links to the Chosen Empire. Orbital rings. We can get more trade from the planets that are doing trade. Not our habitats, but that's fine. Tier 3 trade station now giving us 35% more trade value. I mean, look at that capital. 1,400. No, our allies gone in on their own. They might die. Can we get there in time? We were close. Not close enough. We can actually just start spamming habitats now. Great. Alloys, no problem. We need to use the power of uh, democracy. Maybe a bit cheesy using favors, but we could have traded like anything else. I just didn't want to, you know? But the Steedy have actually linked up to us now. I really want to vassalize you. Now we get five more evasion. It's time for orbital rings. Let's go. Even more trade. We are getting so much consumer goods. I think I'm going to stop monthly buying and selling and we'll just mass sell. It'll work out cheaper, maybe. Or we'll just break the market. Who knows? Wait, no, Banana Corp's coming in. No, 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 no. Stop, Banana Corp. Please stop. You actual... I will just cancel your Patreon. Go away. This is our system. Oh my gosh. With minus two. Quickly get that. I'm actually going to activate uh, boosts. Even though we don't have a monthly income. But we can get there first. Yes, we're beating them. Good to know. No, they took it here. Okay, we need to go take as many systems to try and take it over. I'm literally taking the planets for them. Stop. Okay, it's time to upgrade our habitats too. Or just fill them out. Achieve world goal. Achieve world goal. Before the banana corp take over. Yes. Economy strong. So what this also does, it kicks out all of their mega corps as well. Just for us. I think it does anyway. More trade, more trade. And I believe we get a special building, right? Franchising headquarters 
gives Flix less trade the subject but produces unity for us. Let's build it. Actually, they're not happy. They've got no loyalty to us. Let's not build that then. Let's build the Overlord Garrison and send three armies there. Battleships. So the crisis can spawn any time from now. We got our first vassal though, and we're going to have to change the agreement soon to actually be able to get an alloy production from them. But look at that consumer goods. Oof. The Creole, the artisan troop is amazing for influence. They just keep asking for random stuff. Ah, so we can't actually annex these because we have claims on all of their plans planets. We'll remove the claims from the planets and we still can't subjugate them. What? Oh, I guess we're not superior to them. Oh, we're never going to be able to get the orbital ring built in because we need planetary capital, which needs 25 pops and I've limited it. So we're going to let Flix work. Nine of them, pretty precise. Okay, battleships are online. I don't know how good these are anymore. No more neutrons. We'll try something like this just to hit on the back. Oh yeah, we can build more trade districts. It's so weird skipping over all these techs. We'll just go for habitat. I'm going to switch to kinetic battery. They do more shield. Last tradition. I have no idea. Get another building slot. Yeah, let's go adaptability. Another building slot. What has happened here? No, they were vassal. The chosen empire of vassalizing everyone. That's frustrating. Yes, we can now upgrade them even more. Oh, sleepers awake. Uh oh, our alloys. <laughs> it's fine. We can get 62 a month here. And, you know, 91 a month here. This is so stupid. Two favors for 22 a month for 12 years. Game's busted. 31 for two. Okay. Yeah, we can finally take a few of their uh, alloys. That's the plan. I mean, look at my resources. I have not built one resource. This is all trade. We have 2,000 trade in that one system. 1,000 in this system. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. We got a war in heaven. <laughs> I haven't had one of these in a video yet. So we can either stand with the arbitrators who are fanatic xenophile. I think that's where we're going to go. Or the Silborn reclaimers who are right here who are fanatic xenophobe. We are a fanatic xenophile empire and... Honestly, the xenophobic nonsense going on here is just ruining our trade, especially like the Chosen Empire just taking up a lot, people just murdering, you know? Let's join the Arbitrators and we'll win this game if our... Uh... No, our Federation is gone. Same That's annoying. Country. There's a League of Non-Aligned pow Powers. Born. Wait, am I a vassal now? I didn't know that would make us a vassal. <laughs> Oh well. So who are we even fighting? It's just, it's just them. Yeah, there's no way I can. Oh, ah, the <laughs> my former vassal federation member has joined the galactic community, and so has everyone else. Oh dear. We are titans though. I am sorry, former federation member. You you chose this. That planet's now mine. Whoa! There's a 12k. It's not too much, but more than I expected. I need to make sure <laughs> they come in and just destroy. Roy. All of the resource producing planet. All the districts. Just everything. Be gone. The Fallen Empire is here though, which is good. I maybe should have joined the side of the galactic community. Oh well. Okay, kill them before they kill our starbase. Oh no, Banana Corp's murdering a vassal. Well, they're not even our vassal now, actually. Shield Hardener, that's new. Let's see what that is. So I've done it again. I accidentally had my mic muted for uh, some time. But don't worry, future me will summarize what happened. During this war, we obtained a bunch of planets, but but don't worry, I made sure to demolish any districts or buildings that produced any physical resources and rebuilt into trade or tech. We were easily dealing with any of the enemies surrounding our space, uh, but I don't know how long this will last. Our final mission given by the Fallen Empire we sided with was to wipe out the other Fallen Empire's planets in this space. Once we accomplished that, capitalism would have truly taken over this galaxy, but it won't be easy. They have a 200k starbase and even stronger fleets. Luckily, our ally is here to help, as we can't do this alone. Maybe we don't need to spam all these transports, as our ally is bringing in the Egg of Destruction. Let's hope they actually use it. Foreshadowing. Poor combat awareness by me has got our fleets engaged alone against a small but deadly Fallen Empire fleet. Luckily, we were able to fight it, even after it tried to retreat. Let's hope I'm more aware next time, as it could have been a much bigger fleet, and we don't have many left. My plan was to follow my ally for now, but it seems they're retreating to clean up the mess happening in my home system. The Fallen Empire was not happy about me taking their planets. This could be very bad. And the enemy is one jump away from my capital. Maybe I shouldn't have focused just on the Fallen Empire. However, me and the Fallen Empire are coming back to help. With a new fleet being constructed at the capital. The annoying fleet that went behind us is now being dealt with. With our systems now cleaned up and our ally taking point on our fleets, 
we can make a push back towards the evil fallen empire. Our fleets are now in position, outnumbered, but in position. Can we win this battle and go on to victory? One of our fleets get taken out, but hopefully it was a good enough distraction. More fleets are also on their way. This fleet has been dealt with, but another 100k has come. But it's easily dealt with. Now on to taking their planets and any other fleets. And in we go. Their last system and their capital. It was easily dealt with, but now we have to take their highly garrisoned world. And unfortunately, our armies were in a system behind and I accidentally got them killed. Fortunately, we could just bomb this planet to oblivion and soften it up enough for our ally to take with their armies. Their main world has been taken, their economy in ruins, and the win inevitable. This win cements our capitalist playthrough as a success, unlike last time. Now, if you want to see if I can dominate the galaxy as the flood from Halo in Stellaris, then check out this video. You won't be disappointed.